Thank you Dead Good PR and Nacon for providing me with a free copy of Welcome to Paradise for review. Leave a like and subscribe if you find this review helpful. Now in this review, I'm covering the co-op experience of Welcome to Paradise. When playing Welcome to Paradise, you will have one game mode, and that is the open world story driven adventure mode. This mode can be played from start to finish, locally, with two players, or online with four. Local players can be used online, so you can play local co-op and invite your online friends to play. The local player can be a new character with their own character progress, or just copy the first player. There is no crossplay support, voice chat, or text chat. All story progress will only be for the host player, but all progress made with your character will be permanent. Story-wise, your early goal will be to escape Earth and make it to the moon. This is explained in lighthearted style cutscenes and NPC interactions. When it comes to gameplay, players will choose from a few pre-made characters and will instantly drop into the game and be free to play co-op. After arriving at a nearby camp, they will be informed of the game's basic mechanics, such as crafting, collecting resources, combat, and commanding a zombie, all through the completion of quests. All quest objectives are shared between all players, so everyone can contribute. As you complete the quest, you will be pushed towards exploring the open world and visiting several different biomes. Zombies are scattered all around the open world and can be defeated then controlled by using a crafted item called the Hacking Helmet. The controlled zombies can then be used to perform certain functions such as healing, collecting resources, or fighting for you. The zombies, along with yourself, can be equipped with many weapons and armor along with providing certain passive abilities through the progress of a skill tree. This opens the door for character builds to fit your playstyle. As you make progress in the game, you will develop a base and be able to use zombies to generate resources for you. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now for my experience, I'd have to say the co-op was very good. I had a great time playing this. It wasn't overly complicated and was a nice casual experience most co-op groups can enjoy. Nothing felt too difficult and no matter what I was doing with my co-op partner, we were making progress and building out our characters and zombies to work well together. It's rare to find a game that lets you bring local players online, so that was very nice to see. It is a bit disappointing that there's no crossplay, so hopefully that's added in the future. I did feel the game can get a little repetitive, but with friends, it made the experience a lot more enjoyable. So with all that being said, I'd have to give Welcome to Paradise 8 pepperonis out of 10. Welcome to Paradise is an excellent co-op zombie game that fans of the genre should definitely check out. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.